everybody, it's Brian Elder, your Phoenix area realtor, checking in once again from the community of Barney Farms in Queen Creek, Arizona. So if you have seen any of my other videos in this community, you know that I really, really think that this place is gonna be something special once I get it all done. Very early in development, but uh, definitely gonna be a place that people are flocking to as the years go. So what makes this community so great? Number one, tons of amenities. Everybody loves the master plans with the amenities, and this place is no exception to that. So they have some deep water lakes that you can recreate on, whether that's kayaking or fishing, you can do either. No swimming, of course, that's always the rule with these things. There is a big community center where they're gonna have events and lots of fun things for people to do. They have walking paths that go throughout the community. There are schools that are gonna be on site here. Pretty much everything you need contained in one area. Fulton's really proud of this community. They put in a ton of effort and it absolutely shows. So we are going to check out the Redwood model with the loft today. So as you probably noticed, the first one is the acacia, the second one's the live oak. So as the tree size gets bigger, so too does the home. Uh, this is a big house. It's the largest in the Grove series, 3,595 square feet. It is a five bedroom, a four bathroom, and a four car garage. Tons of square footage, beautiful floor plan. Can't wait to show it to you. So let's go inside and take a closer look. All right, here we are coming up on the Redwood. Let's go check it out. And first thing I notice is the front porch is a little smaller on this one, but still has room to sit out there. And again, that's a theme of this place, having front porches, getting people sitting out and saying hi to the neighbors walking by. And that's pretty common in Arizona. People try to know their neighbors, which, what a concept, right? But that's one of the things we love most about living here is that there is a Pretty good effort made by most of the folks living here to do that. So let's check out this linen closet. It's right here. And leads us to a full bathroom. So we got vanity one, two, medicine cabinet, mirror, light fixture. And then through the door is our toilet and shower. And then right around the corner here is a and we'll call this a guest suite maybe, kind of separated off by itself here at the front of the house. So, definitely a dog lover. The bone wallpaper is a nice touch. All ceilings. Nice window with the plantation shutters. Very nice. A cool home to be sure. So that leads over here to, oh, they are gonna, let us peek out and see the garage. Maybe, I'll be darned. Okay, so this one is modeled as a three car garage, but um, this is a rare thing. I'm kind of blown away that they're letting us in here. But you can see the wall juts out there. That can uh, be a four car garage if you want it to, but right now it's just a three tandem. But another feature that I really like about this community is you can get those great big garages and if you've got toys and things to store, that sure is nice. And we have a big old laundry room too. This thing goes back there quite a ways. You can see the hookups there. Lots of cabinets. Very cool. That goes up to the loft. We'll get to that here in just a bit. But you still, even despite that, where this, this would normally be where the flex room is, uh, if you saw my video on the live oak, um, the flex room in this model would be very similar to that. But since they did the loft, they had to put a staircase here. And that means you get the under the stairs closet, which is good for storage. And coming out here, we've got our dining area off to the side. Very pretty. Opens up to the main living area, which is big and open. And here is a really nice kitchen. You can see plenty of room for seating around the island. It's a great big island and kind of a unique shape. We've got a double oven here, nice cabinets, and a sub zero fridge. So we went with the higher end appliances on this one and the under cabinet lighting. So this is kind of cool. They have a secondary sink, so kind of a prep sink here on the end. And then down over here we have the main single basin. Dishwasher right next to it. And 
Back here we've got our gourmet cooktop. It's kind of cool. I like the, the uh, knobs off to the side instead of the front. If you have kids that kind of put them out of reach, which I would like that. I like the pretty backsplash too. I think that looks nice. Nice cabinets. I think they they're soft closed. Let's look. Yep. Meaning these are also soft closed. So lots of upgrades in here. So just keep that in mind. And there's our pantry. But yeah, really like this. Love how open it is, and it's got the great big four panel slider leading out to the back patio. Let's go check that out just for fun. So, again, the one thing I don't love, the lots are not all that big here. Um, they do have some bigger ones that you can do, but the lot premiums are huge on those. We're talking hundreds, of, like $200,000 or more on some of them, which is a tad ridiculous, but that's what they're holding out for, so God bless them. So again, they got the half wall there, so just keep in mind where that little stub of a wall is. That's normally where the lot would end. And they've got a cool looking outdoor kitchen model here. I like that. And poking around here. So you can see down here where the bedroom sticks out, there isn't a ton of room between that and the wall. You could fit a pool but it would be a smaller one and it would eat up the entire side of the yard there. You're not gonna have much room for anything else, so just keep that in mind. But you do have room to put pools in just about all these, so. But a nice big covered patio, I do like that. All these have a pretty good sized covered patio to give you plenty of shade when you wanna sit outside and take advantage of our nine months of perfect weather, which we are just getting into. It is glorious right now having far fewer days where my camera shuts off because it's too hot, so hooray for Hollywood. Okay, let's go take a look over here at the bedroom. So there's that door that goes out to your patio. This is a really big master. Lots of space. Ceiling fan, plantation shutters. All the way through the house it appears, not just that front bedroom. Sometimes they only put it in the front to get that curb appeal, but Fulton did all the way through, which is cool. So here is your closet. Good size. And this bedroom, or excuse me, bathroom is pretty big, pretty wide, so lots of room in here, which is nice. And as you can see, we've got another one of these really big spa showers. And very similar to the live oak and then it goes all the way from here over to there it has a separate shower head at the back so that's a cool feature Try not to break it break it you buy it got the tub and the vanity One. I kind of like the middle there with the open storage that's cool linen closet. Maybe I already did that, but you guys, if you've watched my videos, know that I hate leaving doors closed, so. Another last quick look around the bedroom here. Go check out the rest. So again, they, this is a, I think it's a five bedroom with the loft. Three downstairs, two or three downstairs. So let's go check out, yep, here's the other one. So we've got a, another full bath here. goes out to the garage and then this is cool this is kind of a so they got a little casita in here so this is what they're doing in lieu of the four car garage is they made it a casita it's got a full bath as you can see and a good sized shower and then it's got our 
living area here with a kitchenette and a nice one too. This is pretty generous compared to some of the other casitas I've seen. And then here is the bedroom. So if you come from another part of the country, this is going to be what you would call a mother-in-law suite. But casita, in-law suite, same thing. Just an extra living area and gives you some separation. So again, you can come right in from the garage right there. Um, so it doesn't totally have its own separate entrance from the outside, but again, from the garage, it does have a pretty close entryway there. But if you didn't want the casita, you could always make that a four car garage. And even with the loft here, you're gonna have that extra bedrooms upstairs. So I'm just making sure we hit that, we hit that. Let's go upstairs. You guys may be shocked to know this, but I have forgotten to film <laughs> certain parts of houses before and had to go back and redo it. So try not to. This is cool. So look at this big old loft. So if you have kids, teenagers especially, this would be awesome. You can put a foosball table up here and they can fight over who's winning. I never fought with my brother over those things. Nice big sectional couch and a TV. So we've got a big closet here. Here is a full bathroom, so double vanity, toilet, shower. and they stuck the two bedrooms down here on the end. So here is bedroom number one. So, because it's a loft, you can see the angled ceiling. So you're not gonna get the tall ceiling so you can get downstairs, but it doesn't, it doesn't really affect the space much. It seems a little smaller, but in terms of the room dimensions, this is still pretty close to the ones downstairs. So for kiddos, I would think they'd like having their own space anyway wouldn't be bothered by that. And here is another generous linen closet. And the other bedroom. So again, because of the loft, the ceilings are different. It pinches down a little bit at the end, but plenty of room for beds, dressers, all that kind of stuff. And this is a very cool option. This is a enormous space. A lot you could do with this. Put a gym up here if you were the workout at home type. Which I try to be, but man, it's hard. But I love this home. This is really cool. Fulton's done a good job with it. Get a little, well, I can't really see it as well with that wall in the way. I like the high angle look, but one last quick look around. At the Redwood beautiful home. So what do you guys think of the Redwood? I love that floor plan. I haven't been through it yet, so that was my first time. Really like the loft that uh, provides so much space that you can use for a lot of things. Definitely a cool concept that Fulton did with that. So if you have any questions about this community or this home in particular, please reach out to me. You know what to do. Give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. I love it when I hear from you guys. Helping you with the home process is what I do and I absolutely love it. So please feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate it as always. And I'll see you again soon on another model home tour.